and the last section is ELB and ASGs. ELB is elastic load balancing and ASGs are auto scaling groups. So let's move to the first one, auto, uh, elastic load balancing that's managed by uh, AWS. There are two types that are most commonly used. One is application load balancing that's for HTTP and HTTPS protocols that's for layer 7 and the other one is network load balancer that's for layer 4. So let's have a hands on uh, on how uh, elastic load balancing automatically distributes incoming traffic across multiple targets and virtual machines uh, in one or more groups. So let's move to the practical session. So first of all we have to like go to EC2 instances we will create two instances and then we will create ELVs on it. So here I am I can make one first instance and I can choose all the settings T2 micro for free tier eligible and security groups I can use demo launch wizard one okay so for the user data scripts I will like create this first one let's wait for it okay I'll create go to create another instance second instance okay that will be also for linux os free tier eligible t2 micro and keep here and security group launch user one and for the data here we will just use the exa existing data script that we are using so as we can see two instances will be here my first one and the second one second one is just pending because I just created it right now in a few seconds it will it will be up and working so this is my first instance let's go to its open address yeah here it's working let's wait for another instance to keep on live okay it's live so let's go and check its public ID that it's working or not. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, here we go. So our both instances are like working, both are replying. Here you can see. So now let's go back to our main topic that is elastic load balancing. Elastic load balancing. Here we go. Also, there is another shortcut. If you go, if you go on like left side, there is in load balancing. You can go from here too. Uh, mostly, I is my habit. I go and search for the service. You can go and create for the load balancer. Okay, so when we go and click on create load balancer, first of all, it will ask us which type of load balancer we are going to create for our application. So as you can see, it's quite obvious from the diagram that how they just explained in detail. Like first. Uh, it's application load balancer like in our case we have two instances that will be accessed by HTTP and HTTPS pr protocol so uh, in our fit uh, this one we will be using and there is also another type of variable that's called network load balancer that's for TCP, UDP and TSL types this will be mostly and mainly used when you have to handle millions of requests per second remember it when you have a such requirement that you have to deal 
and you have to handle millions of requests then go for this one and the third one is gateway load balancer this uh, load balancer will be used when you have to like keep track of the IPs before sending it to the target group then you have to use this network load balancer, gateway load balancer so we will and the last one is classic load balancer that is not functional right now it's just obsolete load balancer name we can name our load balancer we can name it demo elp okay so uh, th these two are the schemes first one is internet facing internet facing roads traffic from internet to the targets and the second one is from uh, clients to target using private ip in our case we are not using the uh, internal one we are using the internet facing one then the ip address type we can use ipv4 type or we can use the dual type like it's it may be using both ipv4 and v6 addresses but right now we will be using our first one okay so network mapping uh, this will be created this vpc will be created that's virtual private cloud for this target that will be created here as you can see then there are our mappings right now we are in this availability zone so we can select different availability zones so that our application will be more reliable and more flexible okay i just selected three of the availability zones as you can see the subnets are selected by default and it is assigned by aws as you can see for three of the uh, availability zones addressing and subnets are assigned by aws then we go on security groups we can click on create new security group okay so we can name it is uh, elb security group we can name it demo elb so that we can it's easy to remember demo elb security group okay we can description i mean demo elb security group okay we can like add a rule that we wanna allow http traffic from anywhere okay just add this that we will be uh, accessing our application for http from anywhere okay so we create this security group let's wait for it okay this security group is created so when we go here we click on refresh we click here demo elb security group is here we just select it we can just remove it here okay this is our security group then the listeners keep it as as it is okay this is the summary we are using the internet facing ipv4 elb this security group is created three of the uh, network making of created so let's wait we just have to um, okay uh, i just skipped one thing that's here we have to assign this target groups so whenever our like traffic is coming which target groups will be involved so let's check it out here okay in our case we have instance types we are not going for ip addresses or lambda or application load balancer type we can name is demo elp for target group we can name is tg okay uh, http uh, protocol will be this http okay so we can do it next you will see our two instances my first and my second instance will be created i include them as pending okay these two are pending below 
so here I have to click on you can see create target group okay so our target groups are created so our default action will be forwarded to target groups I just refresh it so that my different yeah here we go our target group is like attached now we can see uh, our target group is here okay oh, then we will click on create load balancer it successfully created I click on here I click on this uh, it's in pre provisioning state let's wait for it let's wait for a couple of seconds when the state is ready we will go for all the teams okay it's still in provisioning state and these are all the details As you can see after provisioning our ELB is in active state so we just have to go its details and we have to copy its DNS name and here we go we have to just place it here just wait for a couple of seconds okay it's here so now we have two instances running now it's responding from this uh, let, let me show you over two of the instances so that we can compare that both are replying to our request okay so let's go to instances okay both are running let's go to my second instance open its address let's go to my first instance also open its address okay so we have to access it through HTTPS and we also have to access it through HTTPS okay so the first one had this address 172.31.80.75 and the other is 48 okay so this is our DNS name of this ELB so it will be targeting uh, transferring our traffic to both of the instances so if I refresh as you can see this one is replying first one and if I refresh it as you can see the other one is replying so every time I refresh it our both instances are, are replying to our request so let's do a small practical if I go to instances and I stop this instance then in this case let's see okay so it's in stopping stage let's go to our uh, load balancer let's see our target groups okay this is our target group let's see both were healthy uh, we just stopped one it's stopping okay let me refresh it it's uh, still in stopping process let's wait for it to update the state okay yeah it's stopped right now so i go here and now i will see okay as you see i just stopped the second instance and it will say it's unused and one instance is healthy now our all the traffic traffic will be responded by this instance because our second instance is no more useful so let's go here and refresh it as you can see every time I refresh it our application will be routed to this instance because the second instance is not healthy so every time I refresh it only one instance is replying so if I go back and I restart my this instance then it will it will be starting it in a couple of seconds Let, let's wait for it to restart 
and we will be good to go okay it's still pending okay uh, we can meanwhile also check here there is still showing unused because the target is in stop state as you can see the health detail health status detail is shown right before it so we can also see as uh, you can see our instance is pending it's running okay so here as you as you can see the status bar that it's initiating now our both of the instances are healthy and we can go to our elb and when we refresh it here we go our both of the instances are replying again so as you have seen all of our traffic is just shifted to these two instances as per the healthy state of the instances so this is all for elastic load balancing